Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Desktop Mini Golf and it's not a computer desktop but an actual desk and we have all these obstacles that are made up of like erasers and pencils and all sorts of knickknacks that you normally find on a desk. So we just have to play mini golf around that. It says use the mouse to aim, click to putt, watch out for obstacles, toys, and traps. So it seems pretty simple, but just with this really fun, goofy setting. So let's go ahead, let's get started, and see if we can make it through all the holes in this game. So we got hole one, it's a part two. There's a little eraser guy with a happy face on. Okay, so this determines my power, how far this line stretches. Okay, so let's do like maybe that, and then try to angle it like that. Is that gonna go in? Hole in one, no, almost so close. Oh man, okay, so now I probably want to use very little power. Yep, just tap it in there. That was a par two, and we took two strokes, so we're right on par. And we have, okay, so it looks like it's a full 18 holes, so we should probably get rolling then as quickly as possible. Whoa, excuse me? Okay, so like one of our buddies is trying to set us up here. He's playing goaltender with the eraser. All right, well, that's not very nice of you. Okay, well, I'm gonna smack it right by him. Oh, oh no, oh my God, it almost hit it. It almost went into the hole as a hole in one. I can barely see because his stupid hands in the way. Hey, bud, get your stinking hand out of the way. <laughs> At least we got a part two. That one wasn't too hard, even though it could have ended in disaster. The eraser did ding the ball a little bit, but we got by it okay. Okay, whoa, all right. Now we have like crazy, okay, these are like booster pads, I'm assuming. So if we like really smack that, okay, we can get it up there. Oh, not quite to the second booster, but um, I guess we can use this to our advantage like that. Oh, went right by the hole. That's okay, it's a par three, so I think if I just do that, yep, stand on par, that's all I can really hope for. Really gotta get a hole in one one of these times before the levels get too hard. What, oh, I thought that was gonna hit the ball. It comes so close. It comes so close to hitting the ball. All right, and there's also like a webcam up in the upper left, I have no idea. Oh, maybe that's, that's the controller for the car. And it's going through the sand trap and everything. So we want to probably go this way. Probably want to angle it so the ball goes. Oh, oh, right past the car. Okay. Is that going to get hit though? No, thank goodness. It's a par three. So if we get it in this shot, we got a birdie. Very nice. Two strokes. All four done. We're getting the hang of this. Oh my gosh. What is this? All right. There's like a doggy door. And so we have to have our timing perfect as well when we smack this with max power. It's like mini golf at a mini golf place, except with all these insane things. Okay, so can we get this? All right, ready, set, go. Oh, oh, it got stuck in it. Can I get through? Oh, I could. All right, I did not realize that. All right, good thing it's a par four. I think this is our fourth shot. Okay, so you could get stuck in the door as well. The sand trap sort of slowed me down, but it did not prevent me from getting the par. We're one under total strokes 13 right now. Not too bad. All right, let's get this hole in one right here. So the rotation of the erasers is gonna throw me off a little bit. The one at the top's moving a little bit faster than the one at the bottom. That's okay. That means that we just have to line it up and oh, 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 it just barely, just barely. Come on, I need my hole in one. I need my hole in one. Ah, got on par though. Again, can't be too disappointed if we're on par. We got a little bit of wiggle room because of the minus one that we're at right now. All right, I'm gonna ricochet this off this like cup of tea over to the right here and avoid the angry ogre toy. Oh, or get hit by, oh, and he knocked it into the hole in one for me. We got a hole in one. All right, awesome. Very, very cool. Now we're two under par, which is really nice. That gives us a little bit of a cushion. All right, so. We have a booster pad that is going to be preventing us from shooting this straight into the hole or anything like that. So I guess we just have to ricochet it just right. Oh, okay. Off to the side a little, please. Okay, it is a par two. So I think we can maybe angle it this way. And then as long as it doesn't hit that booster pad. No, oh, it hit the booster pad. Oh, this is why, this is why it's good we had the wiggle room, guys. This is why it's good we had the wiggle room. So we can do that. Oh. Oh, the bounce off the right pencil. Come on. Come on. I think we're back to... We're just right on par now. Overall, we're right on par because we were two over on that one. It's good, again, that we had that cushion. All right, hole number nine. 
Hole number eight is where it like really ramped up the difficulty. This is just a part two again. So I think what we need to do is probably angle this to, oh, it hit the tip of the pencil, just wrong. Oh no, we're gonna go over par now, I think. I think we might go over par unless, oh, it skipped right over the top. There was too much juice on it. Shame, real shame, but there we go. All right, we're one above par at the half. That means that we really, really got to do well on this back nine. Oh. Um, okay. So the hole teleports in this one. The hole teleports. So it's anyone's guess where it's going to end up. It's anyone's guess where I should be aiming, where I should be trying to get it. So this is going to take a little bit of speed. Okay. Okay, go. Yes. All right. Got in before it teleported away. Woo. That was good. All right. So that put us back on par overall because we were above one and we got one stroke under on it. We got a nice birdie. Okay. So no more teleporting holes from the looks of it. I think I can maybe thread the needle here and get around here. Yes, I can. Oh, really deep into the sand though. This might take a little bit of extra power. Oh, more extra power than what I just tried to give it. That's okay. It just means that this will also be par. That's our right by me. We got another angry ogre. This one, a very tight circle around the ball here. Walking through the sand trap. Okay, oops. Knocked it into the sand trap. Please don't knock me out of the way. Oh, he sort of nudged me, but that's okay. Sort of nudged me. Keeps nudging me. Maybe he'll knock me out of the sand trap and I'll get an actual better shot where I won't have to rely on the cushioning of the sands. Okay. Oh, a little bit too far, Mr. Ogre Buddy. But that's okay. We'll just line this up with the line like this and then just bring it back as much as we can while remaining aligned and then go boop. All right, good. Whew. This is taking some extra concentration, more than I'm used to with a golf game like this. This has been really fun. All right, we have a crazy rapid fire spinning eraser guy. And then also we have these crazy, crazy, crazy... Uh, boost pads so we can't go up either of the routes along the side or we're gonna get bopped by those so i think we might need to really just smack oh darn it no oh it took the angle so strange there oh that's such a bummer okay well um i think the best course of action is oh i was trying to go slow on purpose to get past the the boost pad but it didn't work quite right so i think what we got to do is no these boost pads are too big. They're catching everything. This is a, a really unfair one. Hole 13. Man, normally my lucky number, very unlucky this time around. That is such a bummer that that hole zapped us that much. We're two above par now. What a load of bunk. All right. At least this one looks fairly simplistic. We have a, an eraser in the way, a sand trap. <gasps> the tip of that pencil. The tip of that pencil, that's not a very even bumper there on the side. The tip of that pencil got in the freaking way, man. All right, well, hopefully that tap will... It robbed us of par. That sand trap really messed us up. Tip of that pencil, if that hadn't been there like that jutting out in that stupid way, I would have probably been able to get past that with flying colors, but unfortunately not the case here. All right, which, which way? This is the question. Which way is going to be the easiest past this stupid booster trap? I think this way. Yes. All right. Got up and above. Took a nice bounce. Lines us right up with the hole. Very, very good stuff. All right. Lined right up with the hole. Tap it in there. Took back another point. We're only two above par now with three holes to go. And we got a car level with the sand trap. Of course we did. Car level with the sand trap. What can we do with this one? Maybe just blast it. Okay. Okay. Didn't quite hit the angle I wanted it to, but not the worst. Although I'm a little bit annoyed because this is a part two, I guess. And we are getting really ruined by, by some of the traps in this. Oh, no. Okay, wait. Is it going to bounce us in? I thought for a second we were going to get a really lucky bounce there. Unfortunately, did not. Back up to three above par. All right. couple more levels to go. Let's take these eraser bounces. Oh. Uh, didn't quite get the, the good bounce I wanted, but that's all right. We'll just blast through the sand trap as best as we can. That stupid pencil eraser being rounded really messed us up there, but maybe we can do one of these. And yes, in there in par at the very least. All right, this is going to be the... Uh, <laughs> there's literally no way 
that I can get par for the overall. So I might as well just blast this guy and try to get past that eraser. Get a hole in one. Oh, no hole in one for me, but a hole in two. I guess I'll take it. We're only two above par. That was all 18 holes. Really, really fun. Very, very fun. It says trophies and records. Did I earn any trophies? The hole in one trophy. There was an under par trophy, 10 under par and 18 under par. That's for the true mad lads out there. Some of you I know are amazing at figuring out geometry and angles and bounce and everything like that. So I'm sure that some of you could probably get that 18 under par trophy. Looks like I am not going to be walking away with that today. I'm two above par, 49 total strokes, but definitely try to beat my score. This was a lot of fun. This was a really interesting, goofy, arcadey take on mini golf. It reminds me of going out and playing on mini golf courses, which is something I miss so badly right now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me play this game. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.